I've been trying to make a decent second computer in case of emergencies, or if somebody comes around and stays. I bought myself a second-hand i5-2500K, RAM, case and motherboard for £200 and plan to use my old Radeon 6870 as the graphics card, resulting in a fairly decent PC. But of course, there have been problems. First of all, the postage. UPS has one mission and that's to deliver the stuff to my place, and yet they did anything but. Credit where it's due, I was out the first time they called and they said that they'd re-deliver. Days passed, but alas, nothing. So I looked it up online and for some reason they had changed the address after the first attempt to next doors. Oh. I phoned them and they apologised and corrected it and said that they'd try again. Nothing. I looked online. They had delivered it to next door again. Three times. I was waiting there for them as their van pulled up every time. A few days later the van pulled up again to take it away from a seemingly random house on my street and back to a warehouse somewhere. You can't make this stuff up. Here's the proof. So I eventually salvaged my old PC case and gave up on that order. Funnily enough, a replacement mouse is currently lost in their warehouse for a month as well since they can't apparently find my address, even though it's even got the number outside. It couldn't be easier. But that's not the only issue. I got the rest of my stuff and decided to build it. This was on the day that I was woken horribly early by some people who had come to make sure that the fire alarms worked in the place that I'm now living. I put it all together, turned on the power, the fans started whirring, and then they stopped again. Oh dear. It could have been anything. I ensured that everything was plugged in. I tried reinserting all of the components. The same thing continued to happen, apart from one time where taking out one of the sticks of RAM worked but then it didn't the next time I tried the same setup. I don't know why computers do this to me. If there's one thing you should know about computers, it's what should work doesn't work and to fix the problem it's a case of trying everything you can possibly do until you stumble on the one odd tip that seems to work. This is the reason why helping somebody with computer troubles over the phone or internet is so frustrating. Besides, the fix is often something risky and dangerous that you wouldn't want to attempt on anything other than your own equipment. Running out of ideas to get my PC to work, I had the genius idea of trying to plug in extra things into the motherboard to try and get it started. I found a connection on my PSU which fitted a port on the motherboard. It wasn't needed but perhaps I was just being silly and it was an important connection. I mean, PC building is just like a less user friendly Lego, isn't it? Surely if it fits then it's okay, right? I plugged it in. Turned on my computer and there was a horrifying electrical zap sound and the connecting wire shone bright orange before snapping off. A cloud of smoke rose to the ceiling. I frantically turned off the power, grabbed a large towel, opened the window and began flapping it wildly to get the smoke out of my room. Good news is, the fire alarm didn't go off. Bad news is, it most certainly should have. I'd like to clarify that I'm not some kind of demon housemate. I don't throw wild parties late at night, I don't grope housemates as they walk past and I most certainly am not a pyromaniac. I even gave my candles away before moving to minimise the risk of fire. But things like this have got to happen at some point and it happened to be right now. I then discovered that I had ECC RAM when my motherboard required non-ECC. I took some out of my main PC setup and got it working first time. Moral of the story? Don't ask me to build you a computer. Later I bought an SSD to complete the setup. One of the most problematic builds that I've ever faced but the end result has been worth it, even if I may never use it. 